With our temperatures taking a turn back to winter, many of you might be heading indoors. But as things freeze over across Montana, some are heading out to the lake. Here in Montana, fly fishing gets most of the love. But with the state besieged by winter for a good chunk of the year, ice fishing also deserves anglers' attention. And not because it's just another good excuse to go fishing. Conducting what Fish, Wildlife and Parks calls a creel survey, named after the wicker fishing basket, FWP field technicians use the hard water to help gather more information on anglers and the fish they've caught. One of the most cost-effective management tools we have is to use anglers to help us manage our populations. That's why, for instance, you might see liberal limits on a, on a specific species of fish mm -hmm. because we're trying to get angler preferred size back in check. With three good sized bodies of water in central Montana, talking to those out on the ice here represents a good chunk of information. Those are home to over 300,000 angler days um, annually. About 30, 30 to 40 percent of those angler days are time spent on the reservoirs in the winter. And while all fishing opportunities here in the state mean big business, once things start to freeze over, it's ice fishing that continues to reel in the cash. Um, these reservoirs in the Helena area are responsible in, uh, for about $10 million in the local economy annually. And so if you think about 30 to 40 percent of that being wintertime ice fishing on these reservoirs, um, ice fishing is, is huge in and around central Montana and across the state of Montana. Remember though, especially after the warmer temperatures we've had lately, safety is crucial. Keeping cool in Helena, Andy Curtis, MTN News. All right, remember before you head out on the ice, make sure you read and follow the fishing regulations for your area. If you ever have any questions, you can contact Fish, Wildlife and Parks or you can check out this story on our website.